Welcome to Ed's Techno Talks. Let's talk about lighting. So a while ago I bought one of these uh, Hive tunable light bulbs um, and you've probably heard about Hive, the uh, system where you control your heating from your phone um, and there's a whole parody of adverts um, um, and so one of their new products is this, this light bulb. So I bought one, going on, I was going on holiday, thought you know, let's test one out. So I bought two of them, this one works, the other one works as a light but does not connect to Hive. Um, so this is just what I sort of think about them. So let's go and have a look at how they work in terms of software. So here we are again back at Server Grind about us. There's no better place to, to be than here. Um, and we've logged in to Hive. There's a, it, it's really easy to just set up if you've got the Hive Hub, which you probably do. If you've got the Hive actual heating set, you just plug it in to look for devices. Um, and it just adds to your dashboard here. Now you can see that there's some amazing things that you can do here that's so exciting. I mean, you could turn it off or on. I know, I know, such a nice lampshade as well that I have there. Um, and uh, you can uh, change the colour temperature. That looks like a freezer, um, which wasn't the look I was aiming for. Um, and now I look like a pumpkin. Um, but that doesn't matter um, because this can actually be quite useful um, despite the disadvantages of having a wall switch still there, which is just easier for the installation. Um, you can actually do some quite clever things. So, as you can see here, we've got uh, a schedule. Um, and if you put it on schedule mode, turn off, um, and turn the timer set it to sometime. Um, and you can put mimic mode on which, uh, yes, it's quite exciting. It turns it on and off as if you're going in and out of the room. Let's stop that because that's uh, quite boring. Um, and I'm sure you don't want to just see a light go on and off because you're not security experts. But uh, as you can see, it can be quite useful. Um, the only disadvantage is I am just one of those people who doesn't invest in iPhones or Android phones. Got my uh, cheapy Windows phone over here, which uh, does what exactly what I want it to do. So uh, yeah, it means that I have the app, and it, it's become to the point where it's just quite irritating to take the phone out, turn it on, not. Um, and this is where I think that Hive actually have sort of got a, a sort of scam here because you can buy these accessories, which are the motion sensor and the door sensor um, and the idea is that you use those sensors and say turn my light if I walk in the room which is great but it's another 30 pounds and it's quite expensive when I can just use my phone but not this phone because this is on Windows but anyway see you in a moment so as you can see the Hive tunable light bulb um, is, is useful in some situations especially if you've got a bit more of that Hive technology. Um, in my own personal scenario, um, my light, which is for my sink area, um, is connected up to the main light in a weird way that I have to have the main light on to turn the um, lights over the sink on. And having the Hive just means that I can leave the light on and then I can turn on and off the, the light there, which is actually quite useful. But because I don't have um, an iPhone or an Android phone, um, I don't quite like the, the website um, and how slow it is. So I think they're, they're quite useful if you've got a bit more of the Hive technology than I do. Um, but they're not going to be something I'm going to be purchasing again. I'll just buy normal LED bulbs um, and they're much more expensive than some LED bulbs. Anyway, thank you very much for watching our Techno Talks. Hope you like it um, and we've got tons more content that you might be interested in, so go and have a look at that.